PD had been looking for this vehicle and then because some kind of a low jack or, or a, a satellite system, they were able to find this. And I think we've got Stu Mundell back in Sky Fox to take a look at this, still pushing those really high rates of speed, Stu. Stu, can you hear us? Okay, sorry about that. We had some. Uh, we were trying to get that signal working for you guys. I have new information from the assignment desk. You know, this is one of the things we work in a very fluid situation. Information moving, you know, changes up quite a bit. It's not a home invasion. It was a burglary. Now they're saying that this was a burglary, mm. and it was taken from the, some uh, uh, home off of Sierra Bonita in the Wilshire area. So it wasn't a home invasion. That that actually makes it a little bit you know, less scary. That, you know, I was thinking that you know somebody was home this person broke in turns out it was just a burglary and apparently there might have been some keys left in laying around and that vehicle was taken during that burglary so that makes it you know does it make it better no definitely not but uh, de but it is just ac more accurate information take a look at those speeds though northbound 15 freeway this bmw just continues to move out out here and of course the lapd helicopter along with sky fox you know really we are actually wow. working to keep up on it there you go he seems to be in the emergency lane right there smoke. moving all the way over that's There's not a smoke tire from the vehicle that's a, yeah and and actually literally leaving us our, our helicopter in the dust this uh, morning as this BMW continues to move along. Those speeds might be accurate. Just looking out the window, uh, you know, I, I, you know, it's one of those ones where I'm seeing it out the window, and you can see this vehicle just passing, flying by all these other vehicles on the side of the road. Dude, now, you see this California Highway Patrol, they clearly are not the types that just throw their hands up and say, oh, well, we can't catch it. They are there. They're behind it, but they have, they are considering safety issues, and they want to keep everybody safe, so they fall back a little bit, but I can tell you LAPD helicopter, along with Sky Fox, here following this vehicle this morning as it continues in the emergency lane. Those aren't flat tires. That's just uh, dust on the side of the road. Oh. These are lanes that are not usually used. Again, though, extremely high speeds as it's making its way northbound on the 15 freeway this morning after being stolen out of the Wilshire area in LAPD, down to, over in the LAPD area. Okay, wait. So just so we're clear, because I had mentioned it before we even saw what we thought was smoke. You're saying that's dust on the road that has nothing to do with the tires? It's the shoulder, essentially. Stu? Okay, he okay, can't he hear can't us. Hear okay, us. Yeah, so, so basically, looks... yeah, that's what it is. It's it's from the road. It, it Nothing is wrong with the tire, at least uh, for now. Although, if he continues to drive this way, who knows? Um, but, um, you know, he had mentioned that they had information that this vehicle had low fuel. I don't know if the owner of the vehicle had relayed that message to the police and then they had passed that information along. But um, if he keeps driving as fast as he is, and now he's slowed down quite a bit, 65 miles an hour. Uh, we were seeing 150 at one point. 150 miles per hour. And that's, really? this is what I always talk about. You know, I always think about, and when I'm on the freeway, this happens. I think about what if something like this were to happen and I'm driving, you know, carrying on. On, no idea what's going on around me and how dangerous it is for people on the road. A absolutely. In in incredibly dangerous to be traveling at that high rate of speed. So we believe that this is uh, the 15 freeway, uh, the northbound direction. As soon as we get Stu back up, we'll uh, figure out the exact location of where this, where this is. <laughs> But uh, this is near the Rancho Cucamonga yeah. area, the Etiwanda uh, area, if you know the area. So uh, this is a uh, pursuit that started in, uh, in the Wilshire Division of LAPD. We believe it at first was uh, a home invasion, but now we're getting new information that this was a burglary. So keys that were left behind, the car that was stolen in some kind of a burglary. The car does have a tracking system on it, a low jack or some kind of other tracking system. And that's that's how LAPD was able to find this and the driver. We do believe at this point, from what we can see, there's one person inside that vehicle. But uh, this pursuit now underway and the car now tracking over 150 miles per hour at some points. At some point, and we're also hearing that there's a possibility that this could, car could be low on fuel. So a, a freeway that went on the 10 freeway, the eastbound direction, and then went on uh, the, the 15 freeway in the northbound direction now and, and still on the 15 freeway. So CHP uh, was behind this vehicle and we're assuming it still is. Stu mentioned that the LAPD helicopter is tracking the car from up above, as are we. Um, looks like, was that an exit or transition? 
can't tell. Uh, what are the eastbound lanes here? Okay, so Stu's trying to figure out exactly where this is going to, but looks I, like... Uh, I can hear Haley talking to me. Sorry about it. That's okay, so... Okay. Uh, Today we're having a little bit of audio issues. I can't hear you guys talking at me, but I can tell you right now we transitioned eastbound 215. So uh, basically we're not going through the uh, pass up here. We're going to stay on the uh, out in on our side of the hill as it would be. So basically we went from the 15 to the 215, and now we're going to be heading eastbound. Look, oh, he got off the freeway. So this is going to become very interesting. So California Highway Patrol has the opportunity to get a little bit closer there. It looks like we're on Devore Road. Uh, I'm going to get you some cl better uh, streets here in just a moment. Uh, but uh, he got off the freeway. He has an opportunity to get back on. So maybe it was one of those, he just made the wrong turn. There he goes. It looks like we're getting back onto the 15 freeway. I believe that's going to be northbound lanes. So again, he basically, it looks like he just took the road right there, but he, and now he's making his way back onto the uh, onto the North 15. So uh, we've seen it's drop down basically because of traffic. Uh, right now, I'm looking out the window. I can see that vehicle, and he's got a lot. Of, he's got a lot of open freeway. There is traffic as this is an uphill portion. So all the big trucks they're going to be going a lot slower. A lot of the vehicles might be moving a little bit slower as well. That BMW, you know, I'm going to say it. You, you drive it like you stole it, and this guy definitely stole it. So he's going to pr probably keep his foot in it. I'm just really curious about the fuel situation. They were talking about that. Earlier Earlier on, they said that the, the vehicle was low on fuel. They were they brought that up a couple of times. Uh, right now, it looks like this got this car's got plenty of fuel as he keeps these speeds at 100 miles an hour northbound on the 15 freeway. Traffic out here is light, but there's definitely a lot of more. There's a lot more slow-moving vehicles bigger vehicles that might create some sort of vision problem. Other drivers might not be able to see around these larger vehicles and then having this guy moving at those high speeds, that could create a problem. There you go. You can see him really starting to open it up again. 